Hi, it's me, the science baby. Generally speaking, I'm a pretty happy and easygoing baby, but I have been known to lose my cool once in a while and have a good old cry. It's not nice for mum to see, but what really broke her heart was when I cried real tears for the first time, when I was about one month old. At that point, my cries went from just noise, albeit a very persistent and demanding noise, to something that wrenched at her heart and made her cry too. So what was going on? If there's one thing newborn babies are good at, it's crying. But weirdly, tears don't start to roll down their faces until they're between one and three months old. Because, while babies can make some tears from birth to help keep their eye surfaces moist, their tear glands only start to increase production after they're about two weeks old. And it takes a few months for them to rump up enough to produce excess tears for a good cry. While we're here, let me quickly rock your world. We all know tears are produced by the tear ducts, right? Wrong. The tear ducts in the inner corner of the eyes are actually where our eye liquid drains away, leading to the inside of the nose. The tears themselves are made by the lacrimal glands in the top outer corner of the eye, behind the brow bone. They flow over the eye surface and then drain into the tear ducts, except when we're really sad and the glands make too much to be siphoned off into the nose, which causes them to leak down our faces. But that seems like a bit of a sloppy thing for our bodies to do, so scientists think there must be some reason for our eyes to drip in this way when we're sad. Humans are the only animal to shed tears because of our emotions, and those tears contain proteins and hormones that you don't find in normal eye liquid. So one theory is that we actively release some of the chemical sources of stress when we cry, helping us to calm down. But there are questions as to how effective this could be, considering the sheer volume of hormones circulating inside the body, and the relatively small volume of tears leaking out of the face. So another theory is that it's all to do with empathy. That truly producing liquid from your face is quite a clear signal that something has changed, and so crying tears sends a message to yourself and to other people that there's an important problem that has temporarily overwhelmed you. It's a physical cry for help that can't be confused with any other kind of signal. And as a cry for help, it's incredibly effective. Research has shown that seeing someone upset activates the same part of the brain as if you're upset yourself. So we're hardwired to respond to that excess eye juice. And in babies, it comes in just as mum's postnatal hormones are dropping off, reinforcing our instinct to tend to our every need. Just one more way that we've got our parents under our tiny little thumbs.